awesome people! Welcome to this new video in Minecraft! My name is Saolin and I know it's been a while that we had a Minecraft video on the channel, but we're back! Check, 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 check! And I just want to show you guys actually the stuff that we've been working on the last couple of months here on this Minecraft server and it's actually quite a lot, so I'm not going to hold up too much and um, the last video that you have seen was the Burj El Arab that I did. Uh, it's still it's still actually in progress. It's not done yet. If you missed that video, you can actually click that little eye there in the upper right corner, if I'm not mistaken, and you can just directly go and watch those videos if you wish. Uh, so yeah, the Minecraft or the Burj El Arab is still in progress. Uh, we switched server in the meantime, so that's yeah, that makes some uh, uh, different things like in houses and stuff. So we did have to do some rebuilding here and there, but that doesn't mind. I will show you guys later when that is done. But anyhow, I just want to hop into this video and show you guys what we got so far. It's quite a lot though. And to start off, here we are at this point, this actually central point here on the map. There we build it and we are here on the parking lot right in front of the city hall. So as you can see we build some nice cars over here. And this is our city hall. It's actually quite a plain building. But still I do love it. And yeah, like I mentioned it's uh, located pretty central so that can be very handy if you're going over to the city center and you want to have some papers done in the meantime so let me go into this city hall and i'm not going to point like everything out for you like specific every detail because otherwise this video is going to take forever and i just don't want to bore you guys so here we are in the city hall at the reception and this lovely person that is not actually there is going to take your information and this lovely lady or gentleman is going to give you a number and with that number you can go over to the waiting room here. So you can take your seat and you can wait here till your number is called out and you can go to the other side of the city hall at least. This is how it works for me here actually in the Netherlands, the way of working wise. I don't know how it is for you guys. I'm actually curious if it is like all the same in different countries, how it works. But this is like how it works for me in the Netherlands. So you got your number, you're going to the desk that they pointed you towards and you can arrange all of your papers. So that's actually this room and to separate it again, you know, you do want to have some privacy because most of the papers that you're handling in a city hall are quite important. So you do want to have some privacy. And there's actually a secret thing here in this city hall. But I'm going to point that out to you later. And you don't see it and you don't know it, but it is there. But on this side, we do have our mayor's office. And where's my hand right here? My hand's here. And I want to ring this bell and you don't hear it, but I actually ring it. And this is the mayor's office. So this is where magic happens, I guess. I don't know. So as you can see, a lot of books and a lot of documents, like what the mayor needs, like every piece of information about every citizen here in this, um, yeah, village world neighborhood however you want to call it so this is the city hall for now and i will come back to this in a little bit and then next next to the city hall we have built a church and i'm pretty proud of this church though because it turned out so well and I saw this on a blueprint and I was like, oh my god, I love this church and I have to build this. So the blueprint was actually only the first layer of this building, so the rest I actually built up myself. And yes, I'm pretty satisfied with it. So 
that's actually the thing because if you're going to the city hall and there you can make your appointment for when you want to go get married so you have your um engagement set up there and then you can go to the church whenever you have your appointment to actually get married and here's our wedding car our limousine including even with flowers that can bring you to this church and i will just circle a little bit around this church i seriously guys i love this church and yeah i don't know i i just have something with churches and cathedrals and castles and i just absolutely love those things so that's why i'm so proud of how this church turned out but anyhow so let's go in here we're gonna get married at least you don't you you want to have your church services on sundays and you can just get married on every day of the week so here we are in this massive church and this is actually the part for like uh guests coming in for the wedding and this part as you can see we have to be silent this part is actually the church part where you can have the sunday church uh going on and over there is actually a little church tower it's not too impressive though it's just a little yeah tower upwards toward a porch and you can maybe make nice pictures from here with a view on our lovely city hall and actually the rest is a uh, roof so this is the point of view from here so it's not really too impressive now i can see if i'm going this ladder oh it's working almost got like anytime i have so much problems to go down ladders but today it's going good okay so you're gonna get married it's not a sunday it's a lovely monday tuesday wednesday thursday or friday and this is the point guys can you see yourself standing here waiting there you have to go and walk down that aisle towards your future husband or wife and you're so nervous but you're all dressed up and you're going to walk down through all this flowers and surrounded by flowers walking down this aisle and your heartbeat is going 326 beats a second and your future husband or wife is waiting here to actually get married how is that guys is that looking awesome or is that looking awesome i think it's looking awesome so here we got some tables and some chairs so you can you know serve a nice little buffet for the family and friends and here we got a table for you uh, for, uh, actually for the happy couple to sit down and the people can come up to you and congratulate you with your marriage and here of course we need some music and presents i mean what is a wedding without food presents cake music it just doesn't make it complete so this is actually the 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 wedding venue if that is that the correct word the, yeah yeah i think so wedding venue hmm, yeah like it so this is this part of the map with our lovely church and our lovely city hall uh behind there hey <laughs> and i'm not going to show you guys um there is going to be a little bit of a surprise because blaze shadow is working on something there and i'm going to show you guys in the next video because it's not finished yet but i can assure you it's going to be awesome it's going to be amazeballs it's going to be massive and great superb and awesomeness so i'm going to show you that in the next video but anyhow let's continue here because otherwise this video is going to take forever let's hop over to the city point and this city point is fun thing this city point is built on the coordinates of the map on the zero 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 point so this is actually the center of the center of the center of the map and this is the first metro station that we build it and i'm still a little bit working on this because for me it looks 
awesome, but it is missing something. But anyhow, let me show you around. We got our ticket booth, because if you want to go and take the metro, you need a ticket. And this ticket booth is actually originally not a ticket booth. It was a working ATM. And trust me guys, I was working on this for a couple of days, trying to make that working ATM. And I found it on YouTube. I forgot the name where I got it from, the person that I got it from. So excuse me a lot, but I forgot your name. Uh, it was a working ATM and I tried to set this up and it was not working. It was really a hassle to get it work. So I was like, why not make it into a ticket booth? So let me show you. Here we got some coins because you do need some money if you're going to travel with the metro. Then you're going to push this button and wait for it. Then your card will come out. You can open your card, grab your ticket here, send back. Am I doing this right? I cannot see my hand. Where's my hand? Oh, there's my hand. <laughs> I made a screenshot. <laughs> and then you can send back your card. And you got your metro ticket. So this is the working booth. And <laughs> I'm actually happy that it is working. So before we go into the metro station, if you were a smoker, you can go here and smoke a cigarette. Only outside, because we don't want to have smoke in the metro station, because it's underground. And this is also a funny thing, because this is an ashtray in the ground. And this is a thing that we actually have in the Netherlands. And it might surprise you, but yes, we do have smoking tiles. If you can go down that way, and I know it's like not really common around everywhere. But here on the streets, yeah, we do have those smoking tiles in the floor so that's yeah pretty interesting but anyhow let's enter this metro stop if you're hungry then you can grab your cookie or your apple or your watermelon melon whatever you need before you go on your trip because this trip is going to take a while and i'm going to walk a little bit faster here for you guys because Otherwise, yeah, like I said, I don't I don't want to bore you at all, you know, so this is underwater. <laughs> That's actually very funny. Hello, ducky. So this is underwater and this is going to lead us to the actual central point where all the metros are going from. So this is the yeah main hall. And if you're lost, then you can always ask for some travel information. And we got actually four tracks going out here. We have Metro A that's going to Thanville. And we got Metro B that's going to the beach. And I'm not going to show you those guys at the moment. Because they are already in the past videos that I made. So once more, if you didn't have seen those videos. Then you can click that little eye up there in the corner. And you can just jump straight those, to those videos. And... The metro to the Birds Arab, the massive hotel, and this is the one to the city hall that I just actually pointed out. So let me just go here. I'm not going to take this this metro, this track right now, guys, because that's going to take forever. But this is just a slight view on how we actually build this under the ground. So you put down your card over there and you can go anywhere on the map that you desire to go. How awesome is that? So every destination will have its own metro track, if you want to call it that way. So let me go back out really quickly here. And then I can go back and show you the next point on this map. Bam, there we go. So yeah, it's... a. Uh, it's it's great. I, I I love it. I love this. I love this metro stop. And this road is actually we're going to extend this road towards the sunset. How romantic! We're going to extend this road, and this road is actually going to go into the city center that we are going to build. And I got a lot of plans already in my head, and it's going to be amazing, and it's going to be awesome. So um, you will see that in other videos, um, how that will turn out. At this point, I'm still figuring out how to actually build it and where to place stuff and stores. 
and all that kind of thing. So let me just go over to the next destination. And that is the other neighborhood that I want to show you guys. So for this neighborhood, I want to welcome you to Craytona. This is the newest neighborhood that I'm actually working on. And as you can see, there needs to be uh, a lot of housing and stuff. So yeah, like I said, it's a work in progress. And Craytona is actually um, from the word crayon. And crayon, yeah, you know, crayons are like colorful and all that kind of stuff. And that's what I want to make this neighborhood. Full colors and, and sparklings and yeah, just amazing. But first of all, we got this gas station. And for this gas station, all of my credits are going out to a TSMC. He made this gas station onto his YouTube channel. And I absolutely loved it. So um, you can just go on YouTube into the search bar and type in TSMC. And you can see all of his amazing in real life buildings that he has on his YouTube channel. And trust me, he got plenty. And I love them all. So this is the inside. You know, you can go for some coffee or tea or a cookie or a bread or a tomato or apple sorry or a potato here you can pay for your stuff here at the counter and you can just hop in your car and continue your way and yeah this is i oh i love this house so much i did a live stream on this though because i did uh decorate one of those houses into my live stream so yeah it's also on the channel so if you want to watch it back you can and these credits are going out to Corrales. I got these houses from Corrales and I absolutely, I love them so much. I was like, these, these houses just need to be in this neighborhood to make it all shiny and sparkling and so colorful. So the, the credits for these houses are going out to Corrales. And I actually named this street though. I forgot, I, for, I actually forgot how I named this street. It just popped into my head. What is the name of the street again? I forgot. It's the, it's the, it's the Eldor Street. Yeah, so it's like a little bit of a, I don't know, Brazilian feeling, Mexico, you know, where it's like everything is so colorful and, and happy. And yeah, it's just, I love it. So I can just um, show you. This house, really quick, it's 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 like pretty a plain house, but you know sometimes simplicity is key in this case. And um, yeah, this is actually the garage space. And here we got a teeny tiny utility room with a washer and a dryer. Here we got a toilet. Here we got the kitchen and the living room. And out here we have our lovely lovely garden which I absolutely adore. I wish I had a garden like this. Unfortunately, I don't have a garden. But anyhow, going up here, we got two bedrooms, one smaller bedroom for just like, you know, guest room or something. I'm going through this pretty quick. Uh, and this is the second, the master bedroom actually, uh, with a big bed and a bathroom um, suite. If you call it that way. I hope that I pronounced that right. And of course the rest of the houses. But I absolutely love it. So once more guys. Uh, the houses credit. The credits are fully going towards Corrales. And the gas station. The credits are going fully to TSMC. And I I just saw it. And I, I actually rebuilt it. Because I loved it so much. But then. Tum -ta -da -tum, I'm going back to the city hall. Because I do want to show you guys my little secret here in this city hall that I actually made underground. Yes. And also, once again, the credits are going towards Kerales. I love his building so much. Like, really, I absolutely adore it. I cannot say it enough. I just love Kerales, his buildings. But here is the big secret. Our underground housey house. I am.
we're not going to die. Haha. <laughs> Welcome to this house. It's still small though. It's not done yet. It's a lot of work. Like really, really a lot of work. And Kral has got the entire, uh, yeah, how to call it, series on his YouTube channel. Um, so I actually built it, rebuilt it, block by block. Um, I can assure you, it was a lot of work. But I love these colors in this house. The, the way it's setting up, like every detail in this house. Ah, I absolutely adore it. So yeah, this is uh, rebuilt it by Saolin. Official credits, Kralis. So, and this is the hallway, and this is going to be the din dinner dinner room, the dinner uh, area. So it's still in, in in process, but yeah, it will take a second. It will take a second, but it's a secret, guys. Oh, why can I not jump up? It's a secret. So it's a secret entrance, and you don't you don't just tell everybody about secret stuff because then it's not a secret anymore okay so we are back to the city hall guys that was actually the starting point of this video as well and for now it's the ending point of the video and yeah stay tuned like i said stay tuned for the next minecraft video because then i'm going to show you some more buildings and uh yeah the building that lace shadow is working on at the moment it's 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 beautiful like really trust me on this one but i hope that you enjoyed this video guys and if you did then please smack that like button for me so i do know that you enjoyed it and feel free to subscribe to the channel of course for more upcoming minecraft videos so i'm going to thank you so much for watching this i hope that you will have a great day and Hopefully I will see you at the next video. So I'm going to say ciao for now guys. Saul in army. Out.